So as I said, the homily is for the children, so perhaps if the children might come, we, we, we can sit around on the, the altar here on the carpet. So if the children would like to come forward, the homily is, is for them. Now, what have we got here? What's this one? Milk. Uh, Water. Wine. Yeah, parents would like that, I think. This one? Soda, Soda lemonade. I didn't have any Coke. What do you think might be in that? Tea, tea yep. Yeah. And this one, maybe if it's not tea, it might be coffee. coffee. Yeah, coffee. Wonderful. These, all these. Now, if you had a choice, which one would you drink? Which one would you drink? Which one would you drink? The soda. What about you? The soda as well. Which, the milk. The water. Do you drink the water? The soda. the soda as well. Yeah. The milk. What about you? Milk. Milk. Soda. Soda. Water, okay. Tea. Tea, wonderful. Water. So it's kind of between the, the soda and, the, and, the, and the, the milk with water coming in uh, third and then, and, then, and, then, and, and then the tea. Now, all of these, I think, have different properties, don't they? If you have milk, it's got lots of calcium, makes your bones strong, doesn't it? The microphone? Thank you. Cheers. Say that again. I drink milk a lot at home. You drink milk a lot at home? So do I, actually. Usually hot milk with maybe some chocolate in it. Lovely. Uh, so that's milk. So that's calcium. It's good for you. Now this one, wine, uh, it's got alcohol in it. So not so... It, it, can make you, it can make you fall over. So you've got to watch that one, okay? Oh. Got to be careful how much you drink of this one. This one, soda, uh, people drink that, but it's got a lot of sugar in it. Uh, which we don't need, and what else has got a lot of a lot of E numbers, which I think make us hyper, and we start bouncing off walls if we drink a lot of this. So we've got to watch how much of these things we drink. Tea, what's tea got in? Tea got, it's got milk. Tea, milk. Uh, we, we can put milk in tea. That's right. That's right. And sugar. And sugar. You like sugar? Mm -hmm. No, not really. <laughs> not really. Uh, I, and then, so tea's got caffeine in it, so that can keep us awake as well. Coffee's got caffeine, that can keep us awake. Coffee can make you very old fast. That's really interesting, folks. <laughs> so beware. Beware. So, but all of these things, we drink all of these things because... Why do we drink these things? Why do we drink these things? Because they taste good. They taste good, yeah. Any other reasons? Because what? to stay alive, yeah. Actually, there's only one of them that we really, 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 really need to stay alive. Can anybody tell me which one it is? Is it milk? No. Is it wine? No. Is it tea? No way. Surely it's coffee? No. Oh, no. Soda. No. Oh, okay. Could it be water? Yeah. Ah, okay, it is water. And you're absolutely right. We need water. Our bodies, if we don't get water, we ha what happens? If we don't get water, we die. We dehydrate and we die. So we need water. Our bodies need water. But you know what? Did you know that we are more than our bodies? Did you know we're more than our bodies? We have bodies, yes, but we're more than body. We also have a soul. You have a soul. Your body and your soul are together. Our bodies need water to live, and our soul needs something else to live as well. What does our soul need? What? Jesus. Very, very good. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Bread. bread? Uh, our souls don't need bread. They need living bread from. Oh. Blood. Blood. Our souls, this guy, what's your name? Chidamabi. maybe got the answer right. Jesus. Our souls need Jesus, the spirit of Jesus. I don't know if you were listening to that. Did you, did you listen to that long piece of gospel that the, the bishop, the, not the bishop, the, <laughs> <laughs> the deacon was reading earlier on? You know that bit that he was reading? They had a story. In the story, there was a woman who was sitting beside a well, and a well has what in it? Water. Water. And she was going to get some water, and Jesus said, give me water. He said, I'm thirsty. 
It was a hot day. It was in the middle of the day. He was thirsty. She was thirsty. And he said, give me water to drink. And then he promised her living water. He wanted water. She wanted water. She wanted this water, but didn't know she needed a different type of water as well. Spiritual water, which is Jesus, Jesus the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus. So she didn't know that, but Jesus was going to offer her spiritual water, living water. Do you make it with the blood? No, it's just pure spirit. We don't make it with blood, it's pure spirit. It Living water, is the Spirit of God, is nothing that we can actually physically see. It's a spiritual thing. So we can see this water, but spiritual water, the Holy Spirit, we can't see. And our souls need it. Our souls need it. And Jesus wanted to give it to her. He wanted her to have faith in him, to come to him to have spiritual water, living water. He was thirsty to give her this water that she, would, that she would come to him and drink. I don't know if I'm making sense. Does any of this make sense? Yeah. Maybe not. We have physical bodies that need physical water. We've got spiritual souls, our souls, that need spiritual drink to live. And that spiritual drink is the Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus gives us. That's what we need to live spiritually. And we get it from Jesus. So the important thing is coming to Jesus and asking him to fill us with his spiritual water. That's what we do here at Mass. He did give us water. God did give us water. That's very good. So the thing is, for you guys, what we're, what we're asking you to do is to come to Jesus. Jesus is thirsty to give you this. Not physical water, though, spiritual water. So come to him in your prayer, when you come to Mass, when you go to the sacraments, so that he might fill you, not with physical water, but living water that overflows, that continues, like that almost did. To give you to drink. Okay. okay. So let's pray. Let's ask God to do that. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus, we thank you for coming to us and for feeding and for quenching our thirst with your Spirit. We ask you to pour your Spirit into our hearts through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.